Cajun Radio Station. Good morning, San Juan, Batangas. Good morning, Batangas Eastern Colleges. It's a sunny day, April 23, 2021. Now, let me introduce myself. I am Nino Lorraine Ovilela. And I am Kiara Chanel M. Taray. And you are the Quadro Cajun Radio Station. Here are some top stories for this hour. Batangas Eastern Colleges are known for their uniqueness. PEC reminiscing the memorable history itself. Wow. School celebrates different events. And lastly, the latest news around the campus. We'll see that after a break. Time check, 30 minutes before 8 o'clock in the morning, April 23, 2021. Flint, good luck here working on my next hit. Love like used oil can be messy, but with used oil, you can always recycle and reuse it. Love is a bit more complicated, not as toxic as used oil, but complicated. I can sing about love and you can recycle that used oil mother. Nature thanks you. This commercial was brought to you by Quiro Cajun Radio Station. And now we are back. For the details of Batangas Eastern Colleges, they are known for their own uniqueness. Let us witness it with Miss Jovella Tan. Good morning, Miss Sandal. Good morning to you too. What makes BEC unique in other schools? BEC is unique with their core values, with their greetings, and especially with their school uniforms. Wow, could you please tell us what are those core values? Uh, yeah, actually, we have seven core values. Bea represents love, Tala for respect, Andy for humility, Bob for honesty, Sunny for commitment, Ash for obedience, and lastly, Bikoy represents servant leadership. Wow, that's awesome, right? Definitely. So now let's proceed to their greetings. Ms. Andal, how can you tell us that the BEC greetings made us strong? As we all know, a school usually uses simple greetings like magandang umaga. Here at BEC, students are trained to greet each other with the word maligayang araw with a glance and simple bow. Whoa, this school is so wonderful. Yeah, and lastly, let us know the BEC's uniform. Miss Adal, can we do the honor? Ah, yes. The students of BEC, for the female, they wear a maroon jumper with white polo underneath it. While for the male, they wear white polo and brown slacks. And now that we have already witnessed the BEC's core values, the way that they greet, and their school uniform, let us have a short commercial before we proceed to our next hot topic. Be right back! Hey yo, life ain't all sunshine and rainbows, you know? You try to do too much all the same time and it can get you on the ropes and beat you down. But if you've put the cell phones away, stop texting and being distracted while you're driving, you'll get where you need to go. Just focus on the road ahead, you know? Yo, if I can change and you can change, everybody can change for me. Kyle and the station, take her out there. Alright, here we go again with another segment of Batangas Eastern Colleges. This time, we are about to tackle the history of this wonderful school with our another guest, Miss Crystal Cassandra. Hello, Miss Garcia. Good morning. Good morning to the both of you. Sure, Batangas Eastern Colleges, in short, PEC, was also known by its former name, BAA or Batangas Eastern Academy. But before all of that, this school was often namely Bulbok Institute. It was built on June 12, 1940. In fact, this school was the very first high school in the hometown of San Juan, Batangas. Oh, interesting. Please continue. This school is Nocera Solo de Villa, also known for Nani Bibi. She took the opportunity to help others through education. So, she became an instrument that changed so many lives for the better. I suddenly remember my grandmother's story about its history. She actually mentioned the first principal who is Mr. Jesus Champo. 
Very interesting. That was more. When Nanay Didim was starting, she heard a former school teacher, Inigo Javier, had opened a high school in the town of Candelaria. She was eager to meet him and was satisfied in what happened. He was very supportive and eager to share all he knew to help her. They were both a kind red spirits. He actually thought that it was a brilliant idea, but it was not going to be easy. And that's true. They were work together and built Bulbuck Institute and the rest lead us in the Batangas Eastern Colleges. All right. Thank you for allowing time to tell us those information. It was so interesting and marvelous at the same time. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's continue after a short commercial. We got locked down, Mom. We're stuck together 24-7. What the heck? I said. I can't go out. My friends aren't here. We got locked down, Mom. We used to be on our own. I have my own world. You have yours too. But now, day and night, we are stuck at home. We got locked down, Mom. And I got to know you better. So you're a gamer, a dancer, and singer too. My, you've got hidden skills. You're still prayful, but now I remember you're giggling too. You still cook well, but you're now good at having food delivered because you need time for Zumba. We got locked down, mom, and I got to know you better. You really love us so much. Even if the world turns upside down, you would do everything just to take care of us. We got locked down, mom. I will remember this forever, and all of my life, I'll always say, I love you so much, Mom. And for our next segment, may we have our two guests, Ms. Andal and Ms. Garcia. Kindly tell us the different events that the school usually celebrates. As far as I remember, 22nd of October 2019, the school held a pageantry for beauty and advocacy, Mr. and Ms. BEC 2019. It was an annual celebration of unveiling the best and the brightest and yet again highlighted the parade of stars as part of the celebration for the 88th Foundation of Batangas Eastern Colleges with the theme of Feel the Light. It garnered admiration and deep impression as each candidate shined in their own way. The PSC family usually celebrates the holiday with gala. They mark exciting moments filled with fun and glamour, especially year 2019. They celebrated it with the theme of royal skin, and it was celebrated last December 18, 2019, at the Splendido Hotel in the Tagaytay City. Oh, this may be kind of exciting if you are in a face-to-face learning. Hopefully, this situation may end sooner. Okay, this conversation is getting longer. We just want to thank you for having guys this whole segment and also for spending our time with you. May our God bless you both. Introducing the number one protection and defender, Green Cross 70% ethyl alcohol. It is used for disinfection, sterilization, relief of prickly heat, insect bites, hygienic purposes, aftershave, and general antiseptic. Keep your hands clean and moisturize with Green Cross antibacterial alcohol with 70% solution that helps in germs protection and defense. Green Cross, the number one protection. So, we are about to finish our program, but before that, let us have first our local news to be led by Ms. Ayasa Noreen Sabile. Hello, Ms. Sabile. What is the latest news that you can share for us today? Hello, Mr. Rai and Ms. Vilala. So today's news will be about the latest news in our campus. Tell us about it. PEC offers Japanese language training program. This program will be short-term online Nihongo training composed of three modules. The language classes range from introductory to advanced classes. Whoa, that was awesome! It really was. The early registration for school year 2021 to 2022 is already open to everyone. 
had started February 22. And for the latest news, PEC posted an advisory from NDRRMC about the level 2 status of the Al volcano. So be aware at any time. That's all for today. Thank you for giving us this news. So now that our program is done, we would like to thank everyone who listened. Those who participated, especially our guests, Ms. Andal and Ms. Garcia. And to our sponsors, Green Cross Alcohol and McDo. We and the radio station really appreciated your presence. Always remember that news is everywhere and Quadro Cajun Station got your back. See you next. See you again.